Hi everyone, it's Wayne Wilson here, um, coming to you from a living room dining room in Kelowna, British Columbia. <clears throat> here to uh, welcome you to another session of sketching and painting. We're going to do a couple of cards today. Uh, we're going to do um, an old time mailbox and we're going to do some, some flowers, kind of generic flowers, um, maybe kind of along the lines of zinnias and daisies, that kind of thing. So uh, we'll, uh, we'll get going here. I'm just going to pull this camera up this way. <clears throat> I did this last week. I showed you um, one of the pieces that's done on what's called ephemera. So last week I showed you a piece that was done on the Illustrated Magazine of Art from 1853 and 4. This is a, a fan painted on uh, an envelope from the early 1960s. So this and a whole bunch of the artwork that I've done is on my website at waynewilsonart.com. So there we go. So let's get going. I'm just going to take this camera here and waltz over <clears throat> to this gooseneck piece. Put it in place here and just make sure that I've got exactly what we need here. Make sure all the things lined up. Good. Okay. <clears throat> so again, we're starting with these um, kind of four inch by four inch pieces of, uh, of watercolor paper. But as I say, take a, a piece of um, photocopy paper and fold it in half and then fold it in half again and you've got roughly the same size. It's not a big deal. Um, so we're going to do a couple of pieces here. This is the um, mailboxes piece that uh, that we want to do. Is this upside down? It's upside down. <clears throat> is this upside down? Let me see here. Kind of looks like it, doesn't it? So I'm going to just turn this around here and see if we can't get this right way up so that <clears throat> I'm not drawing backwards and left-handed, etc. So there we go. Okay, looks like we've got that now. Okay, so um, yeah, mailboxes, kind of old-fashioned rural kind of mailboxes. And then the other one is uh, flowers. Again, kind of generic flowers. I'm going to do something that's a little bit different than this, but you'll get the idea. So let's start with the mailboxes. You want to start, I think, a useful place to start is, is along the bottom, the ground level. So just take a, a line along the ground. Um, don't worry about it being dead straight and horizons and all of that kind of stuff. So um, now these mailboxes uh, in the rural areas are set up on wooden posts or um, metal posts. So you, you want to draw a post in here. So there's a, a post. Now how complex is this, eh? There's a, you know, like a four by four um, piece of wood. And then they've, they've got, we're going to draw a couple here. So you've got a horizontal piece to hold these mailboxes. Now you want to draw the, you know, maybe a cup, maybe there's a couple of brace pieces in there to hold up the, the weight of all the checks that you're going to get in the mail, right? So there, these mailboxes, these rural mailboxes come in all kinds of different shapes. Um, and sizes and colors. So let's do just a couple of patterns here, kind of a um, dome-shaped one here, and maybe another one just a little bit lower, but a flat top. And one of the things that we're going to do is we're going to put on the side here just a little blip on the side, and I'll explain about that in just a minute. And then we need another one up at the top here, because when you open and close these rural mailboxes, you have to have a tab to open and close it. So that's the, the tab you've got. Now, not all, but most of these old mailboxes have got some kind of pattern. These are cheap tin mailboxes for the most part. So they've got some kind of pressed in pattern to them. So let's just make a, a pattern here and it's for mail. So let's title it M-A-I-L. Fancy, eh? Okay, and the next one we've got here is, um, let's draw another piece down here where we can put, there we go. So there's, and then you want to draw a mail across the end. That's the bottom here. So there's your basic kind of set of, of mailboxes. Really straightforward, 
not something that's uh, that's super complex. Remember, these rural mailboxes were, um, they were pretty rough. You know, you put them out, and and they're there by the side of the road um, for years, so they can get into pretty rough shape. <clears throat> so now we want to we want to paint these up. And the thing I might do is is I might just draw a rock over here, a couple of rocks. There we go, and. Uh, Light is coming from this side, so we've got shadow down here a little bit, maybe. And then, how about some grasses coming up? Just like this. How's that? That fills it out a little bit, eh? Okay. So then we'll take our, our uh, paintbrush and get just a little bit of, of paint on there, and you can pick any color. Um, as I say, generally these mailboxes have sat out for a long time. A lot of the bright colors that they were when they were brand new are faded and gone. So uh, let's just take a, um, and, and the, the paint on them is kind of uneven as well. So um, let's just paint these up. The red here. Again, there's the rules of staying in the lines, eh? But remember, these are, are pretty rough pieces. Um, the other thing that I'm gonna do here is now I'm gonna paint the two little pieces on the side here. And I'm gonna do them a little darker red. And what this signifies is that when the, when the letter carrier comes by, if you had mail, the letter carrier would lift that up so that when you drove past on your tractor or in your pickup truck, um, you, would, uh, you would know right away whether you had any mail or not. And if you didn't, you could just drive right by and head off to the barn and away you go. So um, that's the purpose of, of that little red tab on the side. How's that for a little history? Um, so we've got a, a red one there. Um, how about we take and we do the, the one right beside it and paint that blue. Remember these mailboxes, for the most part, I, I recall being out, um, remember years and years ago, I used to work on a cattle and horse ranch in Maple Creek, Saskatchewan, and it was south and, and uh, east of Maple Creek. And driving out there, all of these farms, you'd see these mailboxes out on the side of the road. There we go. So do these up as a card, and next time you want to get in touch with somebody, draw up a little mailbox and, uh, and send it on its way for, um, for your friends, just telling them you want to get in touch with them. There's, these are, as I say, the posts on these are, um, are often uh, wood or metal, so let's just make this one wood and not worry too much about what it is, because after being out for so long, the wood's going to be um, all discolored and probably parting, starting to rot, whatever. Um, so there's your mailbox, and we've got some grasses at the bottom. So let's take some dark green. Remember, this is that moss green that I've been using in, in um, the other pieces. And you can just put up some grasses there. There you go. There's your mailbox. All your mailbox is done. Um, I've done this in a design with it right in the very middle of the, of the card. Um, if the art police were around, they wouldn't like me very much because um, art police don't like things in artwork that's centered, generally. They, uh, so I guess I'm a, I'm a bit rebellious. There we go. So there, we'll, uh, we'll leave that here for just a moment, let it dry up. And now we're going to do... Um, now we're going to do some flowers. Um, maybe you can put in chat if you're joining us here. Just put in the chat where you're from. I'd be curious to know where the whole world is joining in. I know my daughter told me that somebody from Italy was maybe going to join in. So, um, so we'll take our, our pencil again, and I'm going to do uh, something that's uh, you know kind of a, a general flower here. Um, so again, the, 
I, I thought I'd do flowers because it's really pretty straightforward. You got these petals here that come down. Um, and don't worry about, you know, they're, the reason I like doing these flowers is because they're, they're a little bit crazy. You've got a, the center part of the bloom here. Maybe you've got another one off to the side here. Maybe something along the lines. See how uh, just kind of irregular those are. And then you've got a stem coming down, so draw it straight down. And straight lines, you want to draw a line where you're going to. So it just comes straight down. So look at, watch for the end of where you want your pencil to end. So I want my pencil to end there. And for a leaf off to the side, you don't have to do a full leaf, just the suggestion of some leaves off to the side. And then you've got the little center of the flower. What you might want to do is just take some dots, put it there as well, kind of give it a little bit of dimension. Now I'm going to say these are, are kind of along the lines of, of maybe a brown-eyed Susan that you'd find native in the Okanagan here. So these are bright yellow flowers. So you can just take the yellow and notice I'm not, like again, I'm not really worried about staying in the lines. Flowers, you know, flowers can be a little bit crazy in terms of their, their layout, the way they're designed. Um, the other thing that I'm not worrying about, you notice, is going back and getting new paint uh, on this brush all the time. That variety in the, in the actual amount of color when it dries will give you some dimension to the flower as well. So there we go. So now we want to paint up this lower one here. The art police would like this one a little bit better because uh, the, what's called the composition of it is a little off balance and critics being off balance themselves kind of like that so there we are Alexander Pope wrote a great poem about critics anyways there we go so there you see how the color is different here there's more intensity here than there is here so there's a couple of, of brown-eyed Susans um, again we want to take and just add a little bit of, of color to the stems here so just straight down a little bit off to the side, straight down. It doesn't fill all the way in. It doesn't really matter. So there's, there's a couple of, of pieces for you. Um, we've got mailboxes. What you want to do is take them and you want to sign them. So remember, real complex names for fancy art. So this is mailboxes. And then there's WW. 2020 and you know another complex um, another complex name how about flowers there we are w w 2020 now the flowers you could do you see the I've done these ones here but this is the ones that I've done on the card and you can do you know, flowers can be pretty forgiving in terms of design. So what I'm going to do is, is just take another one of these pieces of 4x4 um, four four watercolor paper. And again, do the, the same kind of design, but you want to... I'm going to just do it to straight lines this time. Just to add a little variety to it. Notice I'm not real careful about it here. And then off to the side. And then the, the stem will be coming straight down, so straight down from the center of the flower. There we go. You've got this the center of the flower up here. And then what I'm going to do with the, um, with the paint is, I'm, again, I'm going to be a little more, um, little more freewheeling with the paint here. 
So I'm gonna take orange and I'm just gonna color it in like this. I'm not gonna worry about doing it too crazy. Right there, There's, notice the space is there. Doesn't really matter, it gives you some dimension to it. I'm gonna take a red here now. Um, this is an alizarine crimson, if you need to know. Um, and then I'll show you what I'm gonna do after with this a little bit. So notice the flowers here are just a little bit wild and crazy. But again, there's a, a really straightforward kind of flower. It's, it's a generic flower, as I say, um, that you can really pull together really pretty quickly. And what you can do with this now is once you've got the basics of it painted, you can go back into the, those colors that you had and when it's still wet and you can add some color up in here, some denser color and it will begin to bleed down in that direction and give you some new kind of look to it. So here we'll add some red. It's still wet up in here, so it'll bleed down into that those areas there. And just give kind of a additional dimension to the piece. There we go. Again, take it and, and uh, we put some uh, we put a stem in here again, just with the green, just straight down, Not too much paint there. There we go. How's that for complex, eh? And again, just here's, here's that fancy title. Flowers, plural. And what we can do is, is um, we can take those pieces. So this is a, the, um, the one that I did that's like those brown-eyed Susans. We'll take our glue stick and just right along the top, add a little bit of that. Add that to your, your card. Remember these cards are from, from uh, Michaels, I think. So there you go, there's a little bit of uh, pencil that's smeared there, but with an eraser, I can just get rid of that dead easy. So there's your, there's your card that you can send off to um, friends and family and loved ones in a time when we probably all need it. Um, you know, one of the things that I wanna finish off with here um, is please make a comment, and if you like this, and great, and if it's useful and helpful and fun. Um, I'm gonna just pull this back a little bit so I can try to get some additional height to this. And what I, what I want to do is I want to encourage you to... Uh, the, the, these sketchbooks I got at a dollar store. They cost four bucks. Um, it's acid-free paper. Um, and it's perforated so you can take it out if you want. And that what I've done is I've just taken and, and, and added you know, sketches. So when I was on my canoe trip across Canada in 2017. These are a couple of little uh, water scholar, watercolor sketches that I did. Um, this of the Upper North Saskatchewan River, um, this on the Nichaco River, um, some writing in it as well, um, some wildflowers, um, going across the prairies, the, that wide open, wild open flat spaces. Um, so it's just a, a easy place to um, you know, to do your practice. And at $4 a book, you know, you're not really gonna worry too much about it, I hope, in terms of what you, what you do with it. So, um, and there's, there's the stuff I was playing around with today. Just, you know, kind of loosening the hand up to, to do that. So anyways, there you go, kind of 20 minutes-ish. Um, next weekend, um, we're gonna be doing this again um, at one o'clock Pacific Daylight Time um, for again about 20 minutes. I've got another couple of cards. And then after that, I'm thinking that I might do something different, wild and crazy. Um, but we'll start, we'll finish off with a couple more cards next weekend. So please visit my website, waynewilsonart.com. 
where you can see um, lots of that uh, ephemera art on that old, old paper that I've been doing and some other watercolor work. So listen, I hope you're having a great Sunday afternoon uh, with family and friends and um, you're staying well. Thanks again for joining in. And uh, please uh, don't hesitate to comment and, and it'd be great if you shared it too. Thanks so much. See you next weekend.